Good morning, guys. Oh my God, we've literally got the most exciting delivery that's just turned up. And I wanted to get ready for filming this, but it's arrived. I don't have any makeup on, but that's fine. We're just gonna go with it. But you guys know how much Kieran loves his ice baths. He's honestly obsessed as those men out there. And we've got like a proper ice bath now. It's not like just one of those little inflatable tubs. It's an actual full on ice bath. I'm actually so scared because I've never even been in one before, but we've got a proper one and it's so exciting and they're just setting it up now. So I wanna show you it because I feel like it's so, so, so cool. And yeah, we're both just really excited to use it. <laughs> How excited are you? Yeah. I actually can't tell you. I'm He's sorry. literally been waiting for this day for so long since it was all confirmed and ordered. Order, I thought they'd say, oh yeah, a couple of days, three months. Yeah, but it takes time to make an ice bath. Freeze out of there as well. I was like, no, <laughs> she's uh. here. They just literally delivered it and started filling it up. I'm actually scared. I actually don't know, guys, if I could get in this. It's basically full already. It's already got a leaf in it. Great. <laughs> I'm fuming. How that excited? Tree's got to come out. How excited are you? <laughs> it's freezing today as well. What is the weather today? So cold. It's a frost. It is in Ashford today. No, it's not. One degree. One degrees. I already feel like I'm in an ice bath outside. Look at my outfit. But I'm in this woolly coat, and I'm already. No, don't put me in. Put your finger in. Put your finger in. And I'm already freezing. Put your finger in. <gasps> like, look, I can't even get. Like, You're in there. how am I ever gonna get? What was that? <laughs> Like that. I don't know. How am I ever gonna get in there? Oh god, I actually can't. <laughs> what about when it comes past the hips here? That's the best bit. I think I'd actually have a heart attack. I honestly feel like the temperature has just dropped because I am freezing, like absolutely frozen. But can we just take a minute? My hair, obviously I don't have extensions anymore. This has grown so much, I swear. I don't know, I feel like it looks thicker. And it's definitely grown. I feel like when I had it cut, it was like there. Maybe I'm imagining it. But yeah, I'm happy with how it's going. Hair growth journey is very hard, guys. <laughs> oh, we're getting there. Oh my god. Why is it when you want a little bit, it all comes out? I'll watch you. I might as well jump in. Is it very cold? <laughs> I'm gonna stand from the side and watch. <gasps> Kieran! Oh, I'm freezing now. I want to be in. What do you mean you might as well get in because you're cold? You are crazy boy. We are ready. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! I was about to say we're ready for the day. <laughs> Jesus See, Christ. Now, if you do ice baths, that's how much it wakes you up, but I've just woken you up. No, I think I'm just having a heart attack. Are <laughs> you going to come in with me? Absolutely not. I've just got ready for the day. I feel like my heart just literally jumped out my chest. But anyways, I need to make some breakfast because I'm starving. And plan of action today is to just take you along with me. I want to do a bit of an in-detail workout. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing at the moment because one of my main focuses at the moment is to grow my glutes. And I feel like that's what we all want to do. And I've really nailed like my leg workouts. I don't know. I just feel like Every time I have my leg workouts, I leave and I feel like death. Oh my God, he's actually getting in. Go on then. My heart rate's at 90 beats per minute. Quick, hurry up, because I'm already cold. Well, I've got to put my t-shirt in there. <laughs> I haven't done an ice bath for about a week and a half, bye. <laughs> I'm going to stand under the heat as it. <laughs> it's not even on, Karen. if you can't do it at this temperature. Huh? It's not even on. I know, but it's seven degrees. Why have you got it up so high? That's all gonna go out the sides. Can you just relax? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was. I don't think I was as flexible as I thought I was. Oh my god. I told you it's too high. Okay, so for breakfast this morning, I'm actually just gonna make, do you know what I really fancy? I fancy like a scrambled egg on a bagel with some bacon medallions. I actually got these from Aldi. So much cheaper than Sainsbury's, but they're actually really good as well. Like they're not fatty at all and they're just bacon medallions. I mean, the packet is nearly gone, but yeah, I think I'm gonna start getting stuff like this from Aldi a bit more because I don't know, I actually find it like so much better quality, which is surprising. Oh, 
There is a super simple breakfast. Guys, it does not have to be complicated. I use bacon medallions because they're slightly leaner than normal bacon and higher in protein. And then I've got two eggs, which are scrambled. If you wanted that to be a bit higher protein, you could also add in an extra egg white and you could use a protein bagel as well. But yeah, a really good way to start the day, obviously, if you've got a bit of extra time to cook. I was actually speaking to one of my clients about like protein snacks and stuff because she asked, <coughs> what are the best protein snacks? And I think a lot of people like overcomplicate the snack situation. Like not all your snacks have to be just protein based. And there's not actually a lot of snacks that I would go to that were protein based. Like the only ones I have, right, are a protein smoothie, which I make myself, or obviously you can get those ones that you buy from like supermarket on the go. A protein bar, a protein yogurt, and that's basically it. Like, you know, you can make protein snacks and stuff and you can make protein sweet treats, but if I'm being completely honest, and this is why I don't cook that many of them, it's because they don't taste that good. And I'd rather not waste the calories on something that doesn't taste very good. And I'd rather just have a chocolate bar. I don't know, obviously I'm bulky at the moment, but if you're dieting and you're kind of feeling like that, yeah, I just wouldn't stress about it too much and try and make sure that, you know, yes, most of your things are protein based, but don't kind of like overcomplicate it if you know what I mean. Um, anyways. Cheers guys, perfect way to start the day and this is gonna warm me up because I'm honestly so cold from standing outside. Mm. Our tree skirt just arrived. <laughs> I just don't get, they would have put it in the box, right? And it wouldn't have fit, so they've just bashed it to get it in the I'm box. done. Look at <laughs> how, how is that okay? Well, it, I thought, it's completely box, misshapen. I'm so excited for that. It's shaping, it's not a word. <laughs> done. That's what 30 quid gets you. Can you not bash it through? I'm actually dying at that tree saga. Why would Dunelm post a metal tree skirt in the post without like some sort of protective case on it? Even more annoying is that it's now out of stock and they can't send me a new one, but they did refund me straight away, which is really kind, but it's just annoying. Do you know what I mean? But anyways, I'm gonna have something quick. Guys, I meal prepped this yesterday. I'll put the reel here so you can do it as well, but check out my Instagram, but I'll put it here so you guys can also do it. I made the best meal prep of my life. I'm not even joking. It's so good. Look at this. This is a Mexican rice bar. I'm gonna take the avocado off right now because that's not gonna reheat properly, <laughs> but I just did it for the content, but yeah. So in this bowl, there is rice, kidney beans, sweet corn, chopped tomatoes, fajita seasoning, chicken. And then yeah, I cooked it all in one pan. It was so easy. Although once I'd done it, Kieran was like, you know, you should have used black beans. Annoying, but anyways, I've been so busy today. So this is why meal prep is such a good option because if I hadn't meal prepped, right, I'd have nothing to eat. like. I don't know what I'd eat right now. I'd probably have porridge, which is just not, <laughs> it's not what I should be having for lunch, do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, this is why meal prep is so important. Like, I think a lot of people think it's an ag actually meal prepping. And I, I do understand like, it takes some time, but at the end of the day, it's gonna save you time in the week when you are really busy. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this. It's like my pre-gym meal. I'm gonna eat this, leave it like an hour. And then when I get back from the gym, we'll make a really good dinner recipe, which will probably be a lot higher calories than this. Although I think this is around like 5.50, I'll have to check, but I'll put everything down below as well. Okay, all cooked. I've actually just added a little bit of mozzarella on top, but I don't want to add too many fats before training because that's what can make you feel like really lethargic. To be honest, this probably isn't the best thing for me to eat right now because I'm going to go to the gym quite soon, but I know if I don't eat something, I'm going to be really hungry and I'm not going to hit my calories. So <laughs> haven't planned that very well, have I? But oh well. Mm. Oh, do you know what? I am not an afternoon at gym gal. It is five to three and she's just got to the gym, but it's fine. I'm going to get it done before the rush. But I feel like that's motivation for me to get it done. So let's try and have a good session. And yeah, no, I do feel all right, actually. I feel like as long as I'm fueled, it's fine. But it's just hard, isn't it? Like I'd rather be at home wrapped up all snugly. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to do a voiceover. I'm going to guide you through my workout. I'm going to tell you everything that I'm doing, sets, reps, everything, and exactly how to perform the exercise to its maximum potential because we all want to grow glutes here and this is exactly how I'm doing it. To start off my leg days, I always do around 10 minutes on the treadmill and I do an incline walk just to get my heart rate up and to get a little bit warmer, especially now the weather has dropped and it is absolutely freezing. So started off with just simply bending down and touching my toes. I did 10 reps here. I just really focused on that hip hinging movement, pushing my bum back. Then I went into the world's greatest stretch. This is where you get on the floor like so. Then you twist up 
to the sky and this really opens up your upper back and also helps with opening your hip flexors so i did 10 reps on each side here and again just until i felt like i was ready to move forward then i got on the floor and i just simply did some hip openers just rocking from side to side these are so good if you are preparing to squat they are such a great warm-up exercise Lastly, I got up to the floor, took a squat position and then slowly stretched up to stretch my hamstrings and then rocked back into the squat. And that was my dynamic warm up. Then I went into a half lunge. Now I like to rock back and forth in this to make it a more dynamic movement. So rocking back stretches my hamstrings, rocking forward opens up my hip flexors. And again, I did around five to 10 reps on each side. To start off my leg day, I started off with the glute drive. Now, you don't have to do the glute drive. You can just do the barbell hip thrust, but my gym actually doesn't have anywhere to do a barbell hip thrust, which is very annoying. But I always start off with a light weight. So here I've got 80 kilos plus the weight of the machine, but I'm not actually sure what that is. But yeah, I've got 80 kilos and I'm just aiming for around 10 to 15 reps. Again, just really focusing on form, range of motion, and just really squeezing at the top to get my body ready for the heavier weight. For my first set, I then loaded up the weight. At, for my first working set, I then loaded on the weight and I went for 120 kilos. Now this isn't my top working weight, but it's a decent amount of weight. I was aiming for eight reps here. Now I'm doing slightly shorter reps because I really wanna focus on increasing the weight as much as possible. And then once I feel more confident and once I feel like I'm used to movement more, I will then do more reps with that weight. So my top working set here on the glute drive was 140 kilos. And I just slowly worked my way up to that. And to be honest, it felt so good. Like I felt really strong. And it's because I've been doing these every single week. The more you do something, the better you get at it. When you start something new, it always feels horrendous. But then once you've been doing it for a few weeks, honestly, it becomes easier. So if something doesn't feel good to you, make sure you stick at it and everyone always asks me how i make these comfortable because it is an uncomfortable movement with the strap but this one's actually okay but you can wrap a barbell pad around it or you can also use your hoodie to make it more comfortable to finish the glute drive i actually did one last set and it was a back off set so i did four working sets at eight reps then i did one back off set and this was a lighter weight of 80 kilos and i just did as many reps as i could here just to completely feel that burn which i absolutely love feeling the second exercise for my leg day were dumbbell RDLs. Now, if you know me, then you'll know that I had a love-hate relationship with these. I hated them for so long because they really hurt my back. But recently I've started using wrist straps and let me tell you, I am no longer in pain. They've honestly helped me so much and I've been really working to perfect my form and I feel like they've really helped with my physique as well that I've currently got now. So I'm really happy with that. But on the RDLs, I'm aiming for eight reps and I did four sets. And and I don't know, I feel like you can see that hamstring separation as I go down. These women's best leggings are absolutely insane for accentuating your curves. They are just so good. But yeah, really sort of making sure that I'm hinging back, pushing my bum back, keeping my legs as straight as possible, um, just making sure it's not a squat and it is a hip hinge. So I did one warm up set on the dumbbell RDLs at around 17, I think it was. And then I went into a working set at 22 and a half kilos. Again, aiming for eight reps and I got all eight reps for all four sets so I can definitely go up and wait it's just about having the confidence to do it so next time I'm going to remember to increase the weight the third exercise on my leg day was a seated hamstring curl this is actually a new machine to my gym and it is so good I really really like it the key here is to make sure that you really really squidge your thighs down at the top because if you don't squidge them down you're really not going to feel it in your hamstrings here and don't be afraid to go to failure just really push yourself I did 10 reps and again four sets and just really focused on going to failure sort of on the third to fourth set because I really want to get the most out of it and I find I can actually push myself so much with a hamstring curl so yeah you can really see from my facials here that I was pushing myself for the last set of the seated hamstring curl I I actually did it back off set so I dropped the weight and again I did around 12 to 15 reps here just to really feel that burn and I absolutely love training like this I feel like I really get a lot out of the session so if you feel like you're not you know pushing yourself enough or you're not getting a lot out of it 
add in some back off sets and just really push yourself for that last set at a lower weight. My second to last exercise were the seated hip abduction on the machine. Now I've seen so many people do these in so many different positions. And to be honest, my answer to my clients is always, there is not really a right or wrong with how you sit, but you just have to do it so that you feel it. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of grabbing onto the machine at the front. I'm not going to lie, but it's just how you feel. If you don't feel it, then lean forward more slightly. I tend to sit in the seat, pull down on handles and lean forward ever so slightly, but not so that I'm holding on to the front. Anyways, I did 12 to 15 reps and I did three sets on this one and I just really focused on that mind muscle connection just really feeling it and not just swinging out without sort of feeling the movement it's really important with exercises like this to not just go with as many reps as you can like you've just got to think about the movement because otherwise you won't be working the right muscles and I found that my technique with these has come on so much since I've been thinking about it a lot more the final exercise for my leg day were the seated hip adductions now i never used to do these but i think they're so good for you they're so good for your knee health as well and support so if you're not doing them make sure you do them ladies again i did 12 to 15 reps and i did three sets of these and again just really focusing on that mind to muscle connection to squeeze it in i mean i could go a lot heavier and go a lot quicker but i like to slow it down and just really think about it and again that is the key to making progress thinking about what you're doing and putting it into place and not just going through the rhythms without even thinking about it and that was one of my current leg days i hope you guys enjoyed it i'll make sure i put all of the sets reps and weights and everything in the comments below I hate to say it, but I'm absolutely freezing. I'm just sat here with my heated seat on, <laughs> trying to warm my butt cheeks and my hands. That was actually a really good session. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it helps. Um, but yeah, I've actually, I feel like I've touched on this before, but I've actually simplified my workouts now. So instead of doing loads and loads of exercises, I just really take my time. And you know what? That is the difference between re seeing results and not. The difference is you really focus on that mind to muscle connection and that's what plays a massive part in your form feeling it and also working the right muscles which plays a massive part in you progressing so yeah it's really 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 important to do that and um yeah that session went well i felt really fueled and you know what i was looking in the mirror and i was thinking yeah i can see a bit of progress there which is good but yeah i just need to sort my diet out really i feel like this week was definitely better than the last so that's that's an improvement and i'm definitely eating more calories which is great um and i'm actually going to put my calories up today i think i'm gonna have a look at it when i get home because i definitely feel like i can eat more now and it's really important to listen to your body and when you feel like you've adapted and you can eat more it's really important to press on especially when you are bulking so i'll run through that when i get home but i just need to go to sainsbury's now pick up a few bits because we're making chicken ramen for dinner look what i bought the rank out i actually hate them <laughs> and when you're trying to bulk there's nothing better then a fluffy donut. No, don't want these either. Mmm. Well, about There's them. chocolate in there. Sam, they're very really good. That's the worst shop you've ever done for me. That might be one of the best donuts of all. Mm. Ramen, do you know that? Sugar for the builders. That's the wrong one. You bought cars of sugar. <laughs> what are you meant to buy? <laughs> <laughs> what are you meant to buy? That's not the right one. For sponges, cakes, and everyday bacon. Sugar, sugar. I don't know if he drank it. Really? He might have done, but there wasn't a lot in the cup, so he just just chopped it out. I'm really sorry if you can hear the football in the background, but I actually can't do anything about the noise. Kieran's watching the football. But anyways, we're going to make dinner and I'm going to be making a chicken ramen, which I'm quite excited for. I wasn't sure what to cook, but I fancy something like warm and... That was kind of what came to mind. So these are the ingredients that you're gonna need. So to make my chicken ramen, we're gonna need some eggs. I'm gonna be putting one egg on top of each. We've got some garlic, spring onions. I also picked up these. I feel like they could be quite nice to add to it. They're actually really good macros too, like per serving, which is A. Obviously that's for like a main meal, it's 10 grams of protein, but yeah, like if you were to have it as a main meal, that's actually pretty okay for like a vegetable burger. They didn't actually have chicken, which is what I wanted originally, but anyways. Um, yeah, the calories aren't even that bad either when you're dieting or a muscle, but I thought it was a good way to add some calories to this meal. Got a chicken stock pot, got some sushi ginger, although I don't know if I'll actually use that, but yeah. And we've got some ginger, we've got some lime noodles. I actually really love the protein ones that you can get, but they didn't have any, which was really annoying. But anyways, yeah, I picked these up. Then we've got some coriander and then just some chicken, which I've sliced in half, so it's thin. I'm just gonna boil 
some eggs for eight to 10 minutes. Our chicken is basically cooked. I popped the lid on because it keeps it a lot more moist and we're not looking for like a crispy chicken here. So yeah, it's come out really nicely. So I'm just heating some oil and it's frying off some garlic. Ginger. I completely forgot, we're gonna need some soy sauce. We need about three tablespoons. Wow, that really wouldn't have tasted great. This is looking so good. How perfect are they? I'm obsessed. These sorts of dishes are the reason I would marry you though. These sorts of dishes. <laughs> I need a couple of these dishes a week. And there we go guys, there is my chicken ramen. Okay, I've honestly shocked myself, I feel like these have come out really good. I'll make sure I put all the ingredients and stuff below. But yeah, Kieran's is obviously five times as big as mine because he's five times as big, but that's okay. <laughs> this is what I mean, when you eat with your partner, it's so easy, like I obviously just portion mine up and then it's just portioned up over there. Live taste test, that is disgusting. If I close my eyes, I feel like I'm in waggers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to start. That's, I will say that's the best thing you ever cooked me. Is it? Actually... <laughs> I haven't eaten it yet. Does it do you do lime on it? Does it taste good? Do we put lime over it? See, you gave yourself the nice eggies. I'm not gonna lie, the kitchen is a mess, but that was fully worth it. That was honestly unreal. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna leave this video here because I need to get it sent over and I need to have a shower. I am exhausted. I feel like today's been such a busy day and such a fun day. I'm so excited for our ice bath. I'm actually also really scared. I don't know when I'm gonna get in it. I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it's way too cold at the moment. Like, it's cold outside, let alone in an ice bath. I'm sure I will in time. I'll warm, I'll warm up the idea, maybe. So, I know I said that I was gonna update you in regards to my calories and what I've decided to do moving forward. So, I've actually put my calories up by around 100-ish. So I was eating at 2,300 and now I'm eating at 2,425. So I'm still aiming for 140 grams of protein and 65 fat, but I've put my carbs up from 290 to 320. So an extra 30 grams a day, which is a pretty decent amount. And I'm just hoping that now, hopefully my body's just gonna continue to adjust to the high calories. Cause I remember last time that happened and I remember I was actually getting quite hungry on it. It was bizarre. Um, so yeah, I definitely feel like I've adjusted to 2,300 and that's quite easy for me now. And I feel like I can probably push more and I can probably eat more because the more I eat, the better my lifts will be and the more progress I'll see. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do moving forward. Um, I've actually also added on 10 minutes of Stairmaster to the end of my upper body workouts because I think it's really good to still incorporate an element of cardio just for like cardiovascular health. And I definitely want to keep that up. I feel like it also adds a bit of variance to my upper body workouts as well, because I do find them a little bit, I don't know, I just don't find them as exciting. Not necessarily like, not so much back, but definitely like shoulders and triceps and that. I just I don't enjoy it so much. So really enjoying like adding on a bit of cardio. Um, but yeah, nothing like extreme, literally 10 minutes. And then steps, I'm not even looking at if I'm, completely honest with you. I just don't have time to focus on that right now. And obviously as I'm not trying to lose fat, I'm not too worried about it for now. But when it comes to getting a little bit leaner for summer, we'll definitely be focusing on steps and it'll be so much easier when the weather is so much better because at the moment it's just, yeah, not great for walking around. But yeah, apart from that, I'm gonna leave this vlog here. I need to clear up. The kitchen is a state. I need to have a shower. But thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, yeah, if you have any comments or if you wanna know anything, let me know. Everyone always asks me about my outfits. This is obviously all women's best. These are actually dropping tomorrow. This video goes live, so 
Monday. These are honestly the comfiest, best jumpers for weight training because it's a crop jumper. Do you know what I mean? You don't want something to like cover your bum. And I wear a medium in this and the leggings. The leggings are so good. Like they're a proper scrunch bum. You can't see now, but you obviously could when I was working out. But yeah, I literally love it. And I'll leave my codes and stuff below as well. But yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you at the same time next week. Bye guys.